everyone, my name is Mrs. Farr. I am the Intermediate School Secretary and I used to be a health teacher for many years. So I was gonna read a book that I love to bring into my sixth grade health class. It's called Exploring the Senses. So we have five senses to explore the world around us. And so I'm gonna read a little bit about those today. So the first sense is gonna be our sense of sight, our eyeball. So let me read about you, our sense of sight. So this is your eyeball, a diagram of your eye. It says, your eyes are amazing. Which part of your body lets you read comics, see brilliant colors, or know where to kick a ball? Which part makes tears to protect themselves and let you cry when you're sad? That's right, your eyes. From the moment you wake up, your eyes are busy collecting information around you. They're constantly sending messages to your brain to let you know what's going on. Now I'm gonna read you um, just a couple of facts about each of the senses. So the first one is um, around your eyes. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the things around your eye because everything on your body has a purpose, everything. So the first of all, your eyelashes are along the edge of your eyelid and they keep dirt out and they act as little whiskers. Early, they're your early warning sign to sense if something comes too close and your eyelids snap shut. The eyelids will also close automatically and scrunch up if too much light comes in. And your eyebrows, they keep dirt out too and they're curved, which means any extra moisture, such as sweat or rain, runs down the side of your eyes. So instead of going in, it goes around. And that bony eye socket that you can feel all around your eye is a tough shield against injury. So something will hit that bone before it hits your eyeball. So your eyes are very important. They're very sensitive and you want to take good care of them. Okay, your next sense is your sense of smell, your sniffer. So to get getting to know your nose, your nose has two important jobs. It filters the air you breathe and making it warm and clean in order to enter the lungs and it allow, allows you to identify smells. Many smells are pleasant, but some are just disgusting. It may not be fun smelling horrible odors, but your nose is also there to protect you and it acts as an early warning system of danger such as fire, poisonous gases, and possible infection. So this is what your nose looks inside. It looks kind of funny and a lot different than it looks on the outside. And let me read to you some facts about your nose. Particles trapped in the nose hairs get covered in mucus and dry out and harden. And we all know what those are called. We all have hairy noses. The hairs you see trap all sorts of things that shouldn't go down into your lungs like dirt, dust, pollen, and even little bugs. Men, they have more hair than women in their noses, especially older men. And when those nose hairs start to dangle out the nostrils, it's time to invest in a trimmer. And lastly, the nose is full of bacteria, but don't worry, most are harmless and the nasty ones usually take care of themselves by your nose's trusty hair and mucus. All right, moving on to your next sense is your sense of taste. We love that, that sense. We can taste all kinds of yummy food. Take a look at your tongue. Your tongue may look totally different than your nose, but it works in a similar way by, by sending nerve signals to the part of your brain that identifies flavor in food and drinks. Your sense of taste works with your smell to warn you that something is not safe to eat. Rotten food and poisonous plants generally taste so disgusting that you wanna spit them out. And some fun facts about our tongue and our taste. Did you know that taste buds die after about a week? But don't worry, they don't all die at the same time. And the ones that are quickly are quick, the dye are re quickly replaced with new ones. And as you get older, though the taste buds don't get renewed, an older person only has about 5,000 taste buds. That's half the number that you have when you're a kid. So older people don't have as good a sense of taste. 
All right, moving on to your sense of hearing. That's the inside of your ear. There's lots of little parts to the inside of your ear. The only part we can see is the ear flap on the outside of your head. Hearing things. Your ears let you hear everything from a friend's whisper to a rumble of thunder. You think about ears as those funny shaped things at each side of a person's head, but these are nothing more than skin and cartilage, and all they do is direct sound waves into the ear canal. The tiny parts that sense these waves and make you hear them as sounds are right inside your head, and they also help you keep balance. And a couple of fun facts about your ears. Your ears grow all through your life, but unfortunately, they don't make you hear any better. They grow really slowly too, so you don't have to worry about your grandchildren calling you Dumbo. And earwax can be yellow, orange, gray, or brown, and can be gooey or crumbly. The drier stuff comes from the loose, from loose, and it falls out when you talk, chew, or swallow. All right, and the last sense is your sense of touch. And that's actually what your skin looks like underneath the skin. Sensitive skin. If you close your eyes and held out your hands to feel a mystery object, you can tell the difference between a cat and a crocodile. Of course you could. The sense of touch comes from millions of nerve endings in your skin and give you information about how things feel. And a couple of things, fun facts about the skin. House dust mites love to gobble up your old skin cells. There are hundreds of thousands crawling around your house looking for lunch, but they're so small that you can't see them. And by the time you're an adult, you'll have around 5 million hairs all over your body. That's more hair than a gorilla has. The only parts of your body where you have no hair are your palms, the soles of your feet, and your lips. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the five senses. I love teaching about it and I hope you guys have a great day. All right, so I love reading. Um, I love reading for so many reasons, um, but reading just takes me to a whole new world, a whole new place that I can kind of escape to. Um, it puts me in a good mood. I feel like I make new friends with the characters in my books. Um, there is just not many things that I feel are better than reading and it's really good for your mental health, which is um, incredibly important. So I hope you guys love as much reading as I and all the other teachers that you've seen on here.